really so funny because I used to clown the YouTube intro and now here I am making a YouTube intro. Oh, how the turntables have. Hi, I'm G. This is my channel, Get Stem. Get are the initials of my name, but I also want people to get or understand concepts in STEM. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics. A little bit about me, I'm a neuroscientist, which means I study the brain. My background is in biochemistry, molecular biology, and psychology, and now I'm doing my doctorate in neurobiology. Yeah, I have the mind of a master, master, I have the mind of a master. Hopefully, I'll be done soon, so I'll officially be Dr. Gang. So, you know, talk to me nice while you can, but I'll stay humble. So listen, I'm a big old geek. I love science. I think that this is like the coolest stuff ever. But I also know that science and medicine, they're not always the easiest things to read or understand. Sometimes it's not even free. Like a lot of the times you have to pay to read research, which is whack, but capitalism. So I'm creating this channel to talk about current events and broad topics in STEM in a funny and relatable way. So first, what is a virus? A virus is a small biological agent that infects living cells. Viruses only have a dollar, a dream, and some genetic information. So that could be DNA or RNA. Honestly, viruses are some broke boys. They cannot feed themselves. They cannot make copies of themselves. They need a living cell. So that could be bacteria, plant cells, or animal cells. And then they're gonna run up in this cell and basically hold it hostage and force the cell to make thousands of copies of the virus. <laughs> that's when the virus starts spreading around and then that's how infections happen from person to person or animal to animal and you would think that something that destructive is big but no viruses are tiny they are almost a thousand times smaller than bacteria and almost a hundred thousand times smaller than animal and plant cells so those were the basics now let's get into coronavirus 19 or the shorthand covid 19. Never ever see you act like this before. Loud and wrong. COVID-19 is not just like the flu. COVID-19 has a higher fatality rate than the flu and is also more contagious than the flu. The flu is caused by influenza virus while COVID-19 is caused by a coronavirus. It's a picture of a virion or the actual virus makeup. And if you look at the inside of the circle, you'll see that the inside of the flu circle doesn't look like the inside of the COVID-19 circle. So the flu and COVID-19, they're more like cousins. And what I mean by that is they might act in similar ways that both of them are respiratory illnesses, but their genetic material is not as close as a sibling relationship. The virus that COVID-19 is actually like is another coronavirus called SARS. SARS is severe acute respiratory syndrome. Think of it like a younger sibling, how you wanna be like your older sibling, you talk like them, you dress like them. That's basically what COVID-19 did with SARS. It basically jocked his whole style. So now if you look at the inside of the virions, you'll see that the middle of the SARS virus and the middle of COVID-19, they look more similar. And so this is a sibling relationship while flu and COVID-19, that's like a cousin relationship. COVID-19 is spread through respiratory droplets like coughing or if somebody who is sick with COVID-19 touches multiple surfaces after touching their mouth, then COVID-19 would likely spread to the bacteria that lives on those surfaces. But the good thing is washing your hands with soap or using a hand sanitizer or sterilizer that has at least 60% alcohol will kill off a lot of the viruses and bacteria. People say if you sing happy birthday twice, that's 20 to 25 seconds, but happy birthday is whack. But international players anthem, that is a timeless classic. Wow. So there's this website that literally shows you how to wash your hands because there are some areas that a lot of people just forget to wash. You could Google any lyrics and it'll show you how they align with the hand washing motion. You're probably wondering why soap works to break down viruses. Viruses are thick. They are surrounded by a nice little cushion of fat, but soap breaks through fat. Think about if you're doing dishes and you had like spaghetti or jollof rice and you have that red film of grease, then as soon as you add soap, it's gonna break down through that grease. That's the same thing that happens to this fat layer around this virus. And not only that, but in the fat layer around COVID-19, there are these little spikes. 
these spikes are actually what helps the virus attach to living cells. It's kind of like Velcro. As soon as that fat layer breaks down, the spikes are gone and then the virus can't attach itself to cells anymore. So the virus is going to die too. Well, obviously the flu has more deaths than COVID-19. The flu is a lot older than COVID-19. So that's not a fair comparison to make. That's like saying Beyonce has more music out than Blue Ivy. Yeah, because she's been making music longer than Blue Ivy's been alive. People are not overreacting. Everybody cannot get sick at the same time. There are not enough hospital beds, medical personnel, or equipment to treat everybody if that were to happen. A great example of that is what happened in China earlier this year. So in January 2020 in Hubei, China, the fatality rate of COVID-19 was almost 16%. That's almost one in six people dying. What the people in China were able to do is build additional hospitals and they built over 2,000 extra beds. So within the month, they were able to drop the fatality rate down to 0.8%. This is also a good time to add, stop blaming Chinese people. There are so many examples in history of animals or food causing disease or viral outbreaks. You can think of E. coli and lettuce. You can think of swine flu and pigs. Like, no, stop jumping every single time you see an Asian person in public. Like, stop being mean to Chinese people. I don't know if the factories in China are open, but if they are, you can still get your orders off from Fashion Nova and AliExpress. You can still go see your local carryout and get your food. Like, life goes on. Stop being weird. Don't. Don't say that. Just because you're not showing symptoms right now, that doesn't mean that you're not carrying COVID-19. You still might have COVID-19. An incubation period is the amount of time that the virus needs to be in your body before you start showing symptoms. The average time to symptoms for COVID-19 is 5.1 days, but this can range from four to 14 days. So that means that you might be pre-symptomatic or not showing symptoms yet, or asymptomatic, which means you're not showing symptoms at all. Earlier I said COVID-19 is more contagious than the flu. Now I'm gonna explain why. There's a number called r not. This is a reproduction rate of the virus. This measures how contagious a virus is. If the r not is bigger than one, that means more than one healthy person will get infected from one sick person. If the r not is smaller than one, that means that the virus is probably gonna die off and not infect other people. The flu does light work. It has an r not of 1.3. COVID-19 has an r not of 2.2. And this number actually might change later since the viral outbreak is still happening. And SARS, that's COVID-19's closest relative, has an r not of three. What this means is for every one person with the flu, between one and two healthy people will get infected with the flu. For every one person with COVID-19, between two and three healthy people will get infected. For every one person with SARS, three healthy people will get infected. Thankfully, the majority of people with COVID-19 do recover, and most people only experience mild to moderate symptoms. But an average fatality rate of 3.4% is still high. That's like one in 30 people. And also be mindful with the language that you use if you're just saying things like, oh, that only affects old people or sick people. Like, um, hello, those people matter too. And elderly people or people over 60 years old and people with compromised immune systems are not the only high-risk groups for COVID-19. People with heart disease, hypertension, lung disease, and diabetes are also high-risk groups. Bottom line, if you don't have to be out right now, go home. Isolation describes people who are high risk for COVID-19 or people who have tested positive for COVID-19. Quarantine describes people who have traveled from high risk COVID-19 areas or have come into contact with somebody who is positive for COVID-19. And lastly, social distancing, which describes avoiding large crowds or trying to maintain at least six feet between people. As a reminder, somebody who is sick with COVID-19 will likely infect two to three people. This is an illustration showing why social distancing is effective to minimize viral spread. If you look at the crowd on the left, the majority of people are healthy or shown in yellow, but the same crowd, the majority of people will likely get infected by the five people with COVID-19. With social distancing, with maintaining at least six feet apart between people or avoiding large crowds in general, you see that the majority of people in the same crowd remain healthy. 
And the wildest part about all of this is you could catch COVID-19 more than once. Let that sink in. So viruses are kind of like the science equivalent of double jeopardy in the law. Viruses are really smart and they'll learn to mutate from person to person. So you won't get the same exact strain twice, but you can catch the same virus twice. In other words, you could catch a flu two different times in the same winter. Just like with double jeopardy, if you were found innocent the first time, you can't bring up that same exact court case a second time. But if you go and you commit a different crime, that does not mean that you won't be found guilty. Uh-uh, go to jail. But I have good news. Most people only experience mild to moderate symptoms, but you won't even have to break the bank to treat yourself. So examples of this are Tylenol for fever or Robitussin if you're coughing. Some Vicks for all my foreign people. Of course, this is not medical advice. If you feel like your symptoms are more serious, do not listen to this. this Scientists are currently developing a vaccine for COVID-19 that could be available as early as 2021. Vaccines work by taking a dead or a weak version of the virus and putting it into your body. This helps you stay ready so you don't have to get ready. First, in the vaccine is usually too weak to actually get you sick, but what this does is it gives your body time to recognize that this is something foreign that does not belong. <laughs> So your immune system will practice fighting off that virus. So then if you do get sick later, your body's already ready to, you know. And I know what you're thinking. Ah, uh -uh, I don't want to hear it. Vaccines do not cause autism. Last year alone, the flu shot prevented over 8,000 deaths. These are the things to talk about, not fake science. So vaccines are preventative, but they're also antiviral drugs that are treatment based. How antiviral drugs work is they stop the virus from spreading to other healthy cells in your body as quickly as they would. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Bringing this back to COVID-19, people with serious symptoms are able to get treated with a antiviral drug that was used to treat the Ebola virus. While there are a lot of really exciting scientific and medical news around COVID-19, the best thing we could do is be proactive, stop touching your face, wash your hands don't go out if you don't need to go out and that's all i have for you today so if you like my video then subscribe and if you didn't like it okay i'm gonna be here regardless sorry if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section below also leave comments if you have suggestions for a video topic that you want to see me discuss and that's it so thanks for watching until next time with your friendly social media scientists I look white as hell. I think this light is too bright. Where do I look?